Hello. In the history of emergency medicine, you might be caught in a situation where you have many patients who need healthcare service than resources you have to provide the care. And depends the nature of the pathology. If they present with respiratory failure, you might need many ventilators to support the care. Today, I'm going to show you how you can connect more than one patient in a single ventilator. But before you do this, you need to consider the following. One, you can't use a volume control mode. You have to use pressure controlled mode. Two, you need to select patients of more same weight and the same pathology. Three, you need to switch off the trigger so as you don't allow the patients to trigger the ventilation. And the last one, you have to use a filter to each of these patients so as you reduce the risk of cross-contamination. The next thing now, I'm gonna show you how you can reset your vent machine and be able to ventilate more than one patient. You need two short ventilator circuits. And each of these, you'll come to connect on the arm of the ventilator, inspiratory and expiratory. One for inspiratory arm and the other one for expiratory arm. These two will make your system more flexible and convenient to do adjustment. If you want to connect two patients in one ventilator, you need two T-piece connector. Each of these will connect in one circuit which you already connected on the ventilator. So one T-piece will connect when your inspiratory arm and the other T-piece will connect on exhalation arm as well for the ventilator. This will allow the connection for the two patients to get inspiration and exhalation. For each patient, need two bacterial filter. This will help to reduce cross-contamination between the two patients. And each will be connected on inspiratory and expiratory. So for inspiratory limb, one patient will need to get bacteria filter and other patient will need to get bacteria filter. Same for exhalation limb, we need to get one bacteria filter for one patient and other bacteria filter for the second patient. Now you need to take the ventilator circuit. For each patient, we'll have a pair of ventilator circuits with a T connection at the end. So each of these, one for inspiration, the other one for exhalation. Similarly, you connect on the vent in that modality. So for one patient, one circuit will go to inspiration circuit and the other arm will go for exhalation circuit. So this is how one patient get connected on ventilator in this modality. In the circuit for a second patient, connection will be the same. One arm for inspiratory limb and the other one for exhalation limb. So one arm I will connect in inspiration and the other one on the same patient will connect on exhalation limb. So this is how two patients can be connected in one ventilator. So this is how you can connect two patients on one ventilator, but you can also connect four patients, six patients on the same ventilator.